Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be repotting one of my plants that I got a couple of weeks ago. If you remember, I had got this plant here. It is a Curiosity Plant Mini. Um, I ran a little mini contest on my channel um, of what to name it and the majority of people had came up with the a couple of names but the majority of people had narrowed it down and I came up um, kind of a variation of one of the names that was most popular and it is Stevie. Um, I know it's kind of an odd name but I'm odd so there we go with that. Um, just a little disclaimer before I go ahead and repot this. I just want to say that I am not a professional gardener. This is stuff that I do in my spare time that I like to share with you guys. Um, the products that I'm using in this video I'm not sponsored by. This is stuff that I use that I've had good luck with. Um, I don't know like if you were to use them at home if you have had good luck with or have not um, you know it's just it's stuff that I use that I've had good luck with so it's stuff that I feel comfortable using and things like that so I just wanted to put that out there before I go ahead and get started and the other thing is I want to apologize for the way that I look I just got out of the shower um, I've got a lot of errands and things that I've got to be doing this morning, but I wanted to try to fit this in um, because it's something that I wanted to share with you guys instead of doing it in my own time. So um, I'm going to show you all the things that I've got. I'm going to try to make this a shorter video other than um, the one that I had for Andy. If you guys remember Andy um, when I repotted him. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that video is up on my channel. Um, I have a few videos on Andy as well, if you don't know who I'm talking about. So, the things that I have here with me, if you see me looking down, it's I've got the stuff right here with me. I've got, obviously, the plant in the pot that it came in. I've got paper towels laid down on the table. So as to try to keep the mess contained and the roll of paper towels just off the camera. This pot here that I'm going to be putting it in, I know they look kind of similar, but trust me, this one is bigger. Um, and if you recognize this pot, it is um, the pot that I had first put Andy in from his original pot, but then I repotted him into something bigger, so that's why you might recognize this one. And then I have got my um, potting soil right here. It's from miracle Grow. It is cactus um, potting soil. So stuff that I have had good luck with in the past. And I've used it for all of my cactus and succulents. I don't know why I can't talk this morning. Um, so... I've had good luck with it with all of my plants. It's um, special for cactus and succulents. It's got stuff in it that is very well draining. Um, it's different than your average potting soil. Um, if you're curious about like what kind of soil for whatever plant that you have, definitely check your local nursery or whatever store you go into. Um, I'm not ignoring you guys or like trying not to, I'm not not looking at you guys. I'm just trying to untape the bag that my stepdad had taped, um, because this past week, I don't know when this video is going up this past week when I'm filming this, we have had a lot of things going on. So we had to move a lot of things and he ended up taping this bag. So I probably should have untaped this off camera before I went ahead and started this but my brain wasn't working this morning so I didn't and here we are so there we go so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started what I'm going to do is fill up um, this pot what I did is already rinsed it out from when Andy was in it 
and just fill it up probably a third of the way, probably, probably in here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of talk you guys through what I'm doing every step of the way. Um, so you kind of get a gist of what I'm doing. So there you go. I don't use gloves usually when I repot just because um, I don't mind getting my hands dirty. And um, I know some people prefer to use gloves because they just prefer to use gloves. I don't because I like, I just, I feel like I'm more precise when I use bare hands. Um, I just feel like I can, I have better control when I don't use gloves so I can get things where I need them to be. Um, so personal preference, if you prefer to use gloves, that's fine. I just personally would rather use my bare hands. So. What I'm doing is making sure that the soil is in there. What I did is just kind of, I didn't like pack it down in there, but I did kind of push it down in and um, also kind of push or like pull it up against the sides a little bit. Um, so it's kind of like going down a little bit. Um, technically you're kind of supposed to do that a little bit, but I did fill it up a third of the way. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take the plant in the pot. Um, I've always had good luck with, um, kind of squishing the sides of the plant or the pot in the plant to kind of loosen up, um, the soil and the roots just to make sure that when you're trying to get the plant out, you're not damaging, um, if the roots are anything that are maybe trying to attach to the pot, you're not damaging anything. It's easier to slide the plant out. Um, and you're probably wondering why I'm not using any gloves with this because it is a cactus. Um, the spines, I don't know if you can really see them here. They are, they're soft. Um, I'm sure if you were to really just go ahead and like grab it really hard, which is what she said, that's what she said for any of you Office fans out there. I'm sure that would hurt, but um, going at it very carefully, it shouldn't hurt me at all, so that is why I'm not using any gloves. Um, you know, it all depends on the cactus, it all depends on your experience, it all depends on how you feel. Again, you're more than welcome to use gloves if you choose. I just, with this kind of cactus, I feel safe enough to not need gloves. So what I like to do is tip the plant on its side and gently move it like that. And as you can see, it was very much root bound. And what I mean by root bound is when the roots start going around in a circle and then as you can see, they're very much um, like on the bottom there, what that means is the plant was trying to grow, but the pot that it was in was too small. It didn't have anywhere else to go. So it just kept going around in a circle. Um, so obviously it didn't really hurt the plant to stay in that pot, but the sooner it could have gotten out, the better. And what I like to do um, I like to take the base of the plant very gently and with my other hand, again, very, very carefully and gently, I like to loosen up all the soil that's um, surrounding the base and the, the roots and I just gently kind of like massage and move um, and I'm doing this right over the, the new pot. So that's why you might not be able to see it, but I like to try to loosen this up so that the roots um, aren't quite so bound anymore to help try to loosen it up. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this kind of helps the plant kind of maybe grow a little bit better and so it can kind of free. Oh, excuse me. So it can kind of grow a little bit better. Um, Doing this, you don't want to go at it and just kind of like rip and tear at it. 
because um, you could you could damage the root ball, you could damage the plant itself, and you don't want to do that. Um, just because you don't want to do that, you don't want to hurt the plant, you don't want to harm it, you don't want to kill it. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm doing right now is just trying to loosen up the root ball. It just doesn't want to doesn't want to give too much right now. So I'm just gently working at it right now. And it's just kind of taking me a minute to do it. I wanted this video to kind of be a little on the shorter side, but it's looking like it's not going to be. So I apologize for that. Um, this guy is kind of putting up a fight right now, and I realize looking at the camera, it looks like I'm holding a piece of broccoli, but what are you going to do, you know? So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, this piece here, I'm not going to pull or rip off as that is a piece of root. And so I'm just going to let that piece hang. Um, it is, it would be okay for me to set this in um, to the new pot and just kind of let nature take its course. I have done that before and um, have things be okay. I just wanted to try to loosen this up a little bit um, to try to help things along a little bit. Again, I'm not a professional, so, you know, if you're sitting there kind of freaking out going, oh my God, please, Katie, don't do that, or that's not the right way, you know, I've done this to a couple different plants before, and I've had success, so maybe it's just stupid dumb luck that I've had. So, anyways, um, I think I'm going to just let it be now. This is kind of what the bottom of it looks like. I feel like I loosened it up. Um, I did uncover this little guy here, which is new growth. Um, I didn't see that before, which is kind of neat to see now. Um, I do like to check around the base here, um, all the way around the plant to make sure that there's no, um, like the plant didn't have any kind of damage or anything like that. I don't see any with this, which is good. There's no um, damage, there's no, like, it's not dying or anything, so that is good. Um, so with me doing that, some of the soil from the plant had fallen in. I just took a little bit of that out so that I could go ahead and plant, put the plant into the pot, as you can see. Um, I would tip it forward a little bit, but I've got it planted right where I want it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in all around the edges of this pot with new soil so that I can go ahead and um, water it when I get back, when I put it back into my room. Because um, I've got all the watering stuff in there, like a little watering station I have and all of that good stuff. And I'm making a big mess yet again, which I always say that I, I'm going to try to contain it this time and never seem to do. Um, goodness. Getting half the dirt on the plant, seems like. So I wish I could have the plant higher up. Um, but the setup that I have is not ideal right now. Not until I can get a better setup to do this with, but got to do what you got to do until you can get something more ideal. Um, so if you hear a slight knocking like that, um, what I like to do is I like to tap um, the pot onto the table. What that does is help the soil kind of like settle into the pot so that I can kind of see like where I might need to add soil or take away soil, things like that. Um, kind of helps maybe move the plant so that you can try to readjust it maybe if you need to. And I don't know, that's what I always learned back when I was in high school is to just kind of tap the plant in the pot 
Um, and I always like to kind of push down the soil around the plant, not to pack it in, but just kind of push it down a little bit just to kind of see if you need to add any more in. And it is okay to leave like a little bit of a lip in between the soil and the top of the plant, not the top of the plant, the soil in the top of the pot. Um, my brain is just going in about a thousand different directions because I've got a lot to do today. Um, so it is okay to leave a little bit of a lip in there um, so that when you water, the water doesn't come spilling out because um, that can make quite a bit of a mess and more cleanup for you to do later. So you want to just leave some room in there and sometimes I like to fill it a little bit more so that when you water your plant, the soil kind of does settle down a little bit and it looks like you have a little bit less in there. So, I don't know, that's just kind of like what I like to do. And I think we are just about done. Just taking one final look in here, moving soil around. And I will show you guys in just a second what it looks like. There. So, repotting. Um, obviously, it's not perfect in here, but I think it gives it more character when it's not perfectly set in. Um, obviously, it's going to look different once it's watered and settled in. Um, but that is the final set of what it looks like in the new pot. And I'm pretty happy with how it looks in here. Um, again, this is Stevie. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoy doing videos like this for you guys. Just because I enjoy doing repotting, transplanting, stuff like that. Um, as I get new plants, I do like to do these kind of videos with you, for you. And if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you do enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below um, if you guys have recently got any new plants or what kind of plants that you do like, things like that. And definitely subscribe to my channel as I do make videos a couple times a week. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!